and welcome back to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlette, the guy who always has something negative to say about your next watch. And today we're looking at a soon-to-release model from the brand Avi 8. This is one of three in their latest Flyboy range, the Engineer Automatic. Pre-orders are open now and end right on July 4th, 2020. Oh, just playing on my patriotic heartstrings. Now, as I like to do with all of my reviews, expect some bad, good, and verdict on Aviate's latest model. Now, do note that this watch was gifted to the channel, so a special thanks goes out to Brian and the Aviate team for sending this one my way. The dial of the Aviate Flyboy Engineer is inspired from a few different Flieger models, but has some embellishments that make it feel unique. However, I think we might have thrown one too many on the dial here. The dial of this specific reference, the 4075-22 Mitchell, features a two-tone textured surface with marksman lines and a 24-hour scale circling the insides of the enlarged hours. The look is rather busy. Omitting one of these elements would make the watch feel less congested. As is, the dial feels needlessly busy. While taking in the dial, you may have noticed the distinctive target or bullseye marking on the second's hand. This rondel is a throwback to many famous Royal Air Force planes that flew between World War I and World War II. With the Flyboy, it's a distinct feature that makes the engineer automatic stand out. So why ship out a model with a flawed second's hand? The unit I received has an off-center rondel. This should not have made it past QC. I would have discarded this second's hand and reached for another, the same as if the crown's rondel were off-center. So a little bit busy, a little bit flawed. What about those good notes? Well, I'm glad the company doesn't seem to want to send me the ideal model every time. That way, it gives you all an actual perception of their design. The counter, I can already hear in the comments section, is what did you expect from a watch under $300? Well, I didn't expect such heavy solid bracelet links, a well-detailed case with sharp, high-polished beveled edges, nor was I expecting reasonable timekeeping within the expected parameters of an NH35, because my expectations for a sub-$300 watch are very low. When I receive a budget-friendly watch, I'm always pleasantly surprised with what's been done right. Though I find it busy, the balance of the numeral scale on the dial and placement of the date all look sharp on this model, and though the loom is rather ineffective and a bit blotchy, it does the job as desired. Legibility with those fat pointers for hands really is great on this model, and though I'd have scrapped that particular second's hand, the look is appealing overall with the dial. The real appeal of the Engineer Automatic is the wearability of this case, when coupled with that excellent bracelet. Though shy on some micro-adjustment levels, the fit and feel of this bracelet is up there with some of the best offerings at under a grand. Speaking of wearability, let's take a look at the Mitchell on my 7 and a quarter inch wrist. Aviate has produced a lot of outlandish models in terms of their Flieger designs, this being among one of their more tame offerings. Now, is it perfect? Not by a long shot. However, is it unique and affordable? Definitely. If you're looking to get your collection off the ground with a Flieger offering that won't break the bank and doesn't follow the conventional Type A or Type B styling, Aviate is a great company to turn to. Just don't expect perfection. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette and thank you for the time.